In October 2018, a police officer stationed at Cholocho went missing under mysterious circumstances. His name was Constable Edmund Sibanda, and he had been deployed to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission offices for a week. But he only reported for duty on the first day and disappeared. What had happened to him? His family then reported him missing on the 11th of October 2018 after he was last seen on his way to Bulawayo. On the 29th of October 2018, 18 days after his disappearance, his brother saw his car, a Toyota Corolla, at Gokwe Business Center being used for pirating purposes and alerted CID Gokwe. The investigation into Sivanda's case led the police to a well-known traditional healer, or Sangoma named Padon Zanga. Zanga was a resident of Siamozula village under Chief Siam Chembo in Gokwe. How did he get hold of Sivanda's car? The police arrested him and searched the vehicle. Inside, they found 2,500 rand cash and Sivanda's driver's license, which Nzanga had kept in his wallet. Nzanga claimed that he had received the car as a gift from a man named Admo, but the police did not buy his story and he could not prove the existence of this man. They suspected that he knew more than he was letting on. Under interrogation, Zanga finally confessed to the shocking truth. He had lured Sivanda to his homestead to assist him spiritually. Then he had stabbed him once in the neck and killed him. He then dumped his body in an area near Guero, where it was later discovered by villagers in an advanced state of decomposition. Zanga revealed the location of the body to the police, who confirmed that it was indeed Sivanda's. Zanga's crime was exposed and he was charged with murder. He was denied bail and remanded in custody, awaiting trial. He is faced with the possibility of life imprisonment or even death for his heinous act. Zanga's family was devastated by the loss of their loved one and demanded justice for his death. They also wondered how many other victims Zanga had preyed on using his Inyanga skills and reputation to lure them into his web of deceit and violence. He is still in custody, awaiting trial. This is the story of Padun Zanga, the Sangoma who killed the police officer. It is a story of greed, betrayal and murder. A story that shocked the nation and exposed the dark side of traditional healing. It is a story that will never be forgotten. May his soul continue to rest in peace.